Before to the ESPN, I give him the offer. If he's smart, he will accept it. So just, so just so we're clear, so everyone understands, you've already sent an offer to Canelo to fight Terence Crawford if Terence Crawford wins tonight. But if he doesn't, I want Ortiz. You want Ortiz? Virgil Ortiz versus Terence Crawford. Yeah, if they accept, we want to see this fight. And I want to see Shakur Zbeda. Shakur Stevenson is here as well. So I am not a fan of how Turkey Al Sheikh, His Excellency, has been very condescending to Canelo, like Canelo is in our face of boxing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see this right now. Listen. Tank Davis fan here, great fighter in the ring, but when it comes to guys like Canelo, Usyk, Fury, Joshua, just off the top of my head, he ain't on a global scale as those guys. I'm sorry, he's just not. But I, I'm, I'm wondering if His Excellency here has been getting too big for his britches, where basically he's expecting Canelo just to uh, kiss the ring. So, for example here, and I'm going to give this some context later on, but follow me. Here's what His Excellency Turkey Alasheikh posted 1.58 a.m. this morning. It is 7.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, August 6, 2024. About two hours or so, give or take, the press conference, the second press conference in L.A. for Canelo versus Berlanga took place or ended. Yesterday was the New York press conference. Sometime between yesterday and today, Turkey Alasheikh's team reached out to Canelo about staging a fight with Terrence Crawford, who fought and beat Israel Madrimov three days ago on the third uh, on Riyadh season's first American card. So to, to not get be long winded and confuse myself, sometime between yesterday and today, or yesterday yeah, and today, uh, Alashek's team reached out to, to Canelo about a fight with Crawford in February or so this year. Here's what he had to post. And we're going to talk about why he likely said this. Just wrapped up an important meeting with my team, planning on the upcoming fights that, will, that we will make in 2024, 2025. I decided to disregard the Canelo fight as I don't want it anymore. Notice I said, I don't want it anymore. Instead, I will be focusing for the U.S. market with bigger fights, especially for the legend Crawford. Additionally, I will support making fights for Boots, Haney, Shakur, Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz, Big Baby Anderson, David Benavidez, Cepeda, and more. Regarding Tim Zhu, there's something unclear with the communications from his team with our team, so I believe I will reconsider his situation. And for the rest of the world, definitely I'm focusing on the Riyadh season card. Wembley edition, September 21st, AJ versus Dubois. And depending on the result of Riyadh season opening card, that's going to be in Saudi, Bivo versus Berta Biev on the 12th of October, I will build the card for the rematch of Fury Usyk or Usyk Fury 2 on the 21st and another big card first quarter of 2025 stay tuned so earlier today tim zoo and mertazaliev were ordered into negotiations for the ibf title so there's that sebastian fendor the wbc champion we don't know what he's doing right now um he's heavily linked to be fighting errol spence sometime this fall early winter but yet if he fights errol spence he'll be stripped of his wbo title which would make crawford the full wbo champion the full wbo champion and in a weird situation he's now the wbc mandatory but yet you have virgil ortiz versus sergey bachuk who's fighting this weekend for the WBC interim and Vendor's the full champion. So to give some more context, the Saudis are clearly trying to buy up boxing as now. I have a press release, right? For each of what I'm about to state, uh, each organization or entity I'm about to state, they have entered into a partnership with the WBA. They have entered into a partnership with the WBC. They have entered into a partnership with the Gold, with Golden Boy Promotions, Top Rank Boxing. You can, I guess, you can say the Zone is their network, and of course, they have Frank Warren, Queensberry, and Matchroom, and they already own the heavyweight division. You are not getting a fight in the heavyweight division unless you go through the Saudis, and they're clearly after 154. 
<laughs> so when it comes to Canelo, the way Turkey Al is shake, the way I'm getting from it is this. Listen to what Canelo had to say. Listen to what Canelo had to say. After your last fight, you, you kind of after your last fight, you looked over at Benavides and kind of, you know, motioned to him. By the way, that's showing Zatel from uh, uh, formerly a fight hype. He's got his own channel now. Your, what, what were you trying to tell David Benavides when you were in the ring after Mugia? Like Nothing. you can come get it? Nothing. You know, excited there, but I don't. I don't really care. Like I say, if uh, something good for me in the table, I mean. I don't care. Is it is it a thing with him where you know he's more of a? Oh, I'm sorry, that was the wrong clip. He was talking about uh, uh, bro, uh David Benavides. Talking about eat you alive, head to head on Mexican. Indian. Find some of his uh, comments almost disrespectful when he was talking about eat you alive, head to head on Mexican Independence Day. Yeah, if you're smart, you'll take the look, deal. I respect everybody. Huh? I respect everybody, but I, I don't like that way he talks. Huh? But I, his problem, not my problem. And and okay. and eight I round. I'm gonna break for, everything for a fight. With him and I don't ask for any fight. So I don't. I respect, like I say, if he wants a fight, me with other guys, he need he need to do in my way, not in his way. He's gonna After your last fight, find some of his uh, comments almost this. So. And I feel the same way because he has been talking like pretty crazy to Canelo, and it, and it looks like to me. It feels like to me that Canelo was like, hold up, no, you're not doing it your way. You want me to fight one of your guys, you're going to do it my way. And Turkey not being able to get the toy that he wanted when he wanted. Eh, eh, you know, I don't want that fight no more. That's what it seems like to me that he's pulling the toy. <laughs> Hold on, that was the wrong interview, my bad, the wrong video. What was it at? Right here. I really care about it, look at me. I'm... Canelo dijo Turkey, uh, Turkey said he's, he's no longer, you're, not, you're no longer in the running of working with him for the Crawford fight. Uh, I, don't, I don't really care about it, look at me. I'm, I'm focused on the percent of my fight and I don't, I don't really care about it. They called me yesterday, they, they text me yesterday if uh, it's possible to talk about our Crawford fight from February or, or meet uh, uh, to yesterday here in Los, in, Los, in Los Angeles with him and I said look I'm 100% focused on this fight and I, and I can talk about other fights maybe that's why he talked about that to, today because I say I'm not ready to talk about other fights and, and, and I don't really ask him for anything I'm good and that's fair, Canelo, you, you yeah, and I, like I said, I get where Canelo's coming from. By the way, look at this size difference here. I talked about this in my stream. I think that uh, him fighting Berlega may be a gauge for him fighting uh, David Benavidez. And rest assured, he'll be bringing David Benavidez, who's now at 175, back to 168 if they do fight. So here is the Canelo versus uh, Berlega card, by the way. And what uh, Turkey is threatening to do is he's threatening basically he's in cahoots with the with the ufc as well and if you don't know also on september the 14th ufc is having a card in the spear which i can't wait to see by the way and it's going head to head with t-mobile arenas canelo versus belanga so even though ufc and boxing fans are two different uh markets two different fan bases still they do cannibalize each other in the same city to an extent by the way, here's the card. Here's the pay-per-view portion. The pay-per-view is supposed to open up with Rulo Romero versus Manuel Jaimes. If that's, if that's how you pronounce his last name. Kayla Plant versus Trevor McCombie. Here's Lindy Lar versus Danny Garcia. Really like that fight. And then um, Canelo versus Belanca. And do not be surprised if this pay-per-view is 85 bucks. On the uh, prelims, free on Amazon Prime... You're going to have Stephen Fulton taking on Carlos Castro. So this is the card. And it makes you wonder, Caleb Plant and Fulton were supposed to fight on Prime's first non-pay-per-view card next week. And what would these other two fights have been on this card if it wasn't for those two? And by the way, I'm going to give this card, if I was to rate it on a scale of A to F, I'm giving this card, let me see something. Do I care about Roley versus Manuel Jaimes? No. I just want to see how Roley's going to look in the ring because you never know what Roley, you know? And he could be entertaining to watch. But is that a marquee fight? No. 
Stephen Burton, Stephen Fulton versus Carlos Castro. No. Caleb Plant versus Trevor McCumbie. Who? So that's three showcase or three fights that are supposed to be showcased right there. The only fight that has some real competitive edge is Laura versus Danny Garcia. Even though that's going to be at a catch weight of 155 and a very weak 160 pound champion in the division hell. The current number one in the division, uh, Janabek Ali Mahalala, is passing out on the scales, can barely make weight. His last fight was canceled. And then Canelo versus Belenga does have some interest. For me, you know, me being Mexican and the Puerto Rican-Mexican rivalry, you know, goes strong still, even though Belenga is undeserving. I want to see if he can come out there and chase greatness, go out there and be like, you know what? I'm a bit of a head case. I'm going to go out there and throw it all that I have at Canelo, you know, and go from there. But as far as Canelo versus uh, Crawford's concerned, I just think I just think that that Turkey's got so used to fighters and promoters and managers bending the knee and kissing the ring. When Canelo comes along, he's like, no, you don't tell me what to do and don't be making threats. And Canelo clearly said it. He don't like the way he's been talking. So with that being said, we're going to be following this, of course. I'm going to be covering Canelo versus Belanga, um, the card. And as far as Crawford's concerned, do not be surprised. Let me see. Let's go look at the rankings real quick. And I already broke down the uh, – do not be surprised if we see Crawford take on the winner of Virgil Ortiz, Serhei Bahachuk. Or Crawford versus the winner of Tim Zhu versus Bertrand Brockwell and Martizaliev. Because Fandora, PBC is trying to hold on to him. And he wants to fight Crawford, but he's very important to PBC. And also Jamel Charlo's in the mix. If Spence doesn't fight Fandora, I will not be surprised if we see Jamel Charlo step in the fighting. With that being said, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I am T Street Controversy with 5U360.